the most decorated American black belt. The crowd here is intense. He's done everything that our sport has to offer. He's gonna get the tap and he does. Who stops this guy? He looks scary. Beautiful. Don't knock it, sweet. He's completed the circle. It's definitely not something that I do. It's something that I am. I, am. I kind of started to surprise people. You know, hey, this white kid, I can go with you guys, you know? You know, he wasn't just some gringo from where? Oklahoma? Where is Oklahoma? Do not show weakness. Do not show you're tired. You walk or go for a jog when you're done. And my mind just went more and more into jujitsu, and I want to be a world champion. When people figured out I was American, and they were like, oh. Next thing you know, like the rumor starts getting around, there's a gringo in the finals. Our blood, you know, our lineage, somebody that represents the best of our jiu-jitsu has to offer. And then there was them. I would literally be so anxious, I would almost get sick. And the next thing you know, he comes out and said, time to train. So I like open the door and I peek around and there's Shanti. Holy <laughs> shit, dude, Sal's here too. <laughs> no way. Well, it's fight night. I'm ready to, to give everything I have out there. Rafael Lovato Jr. is a clash of champions. Okay, almost time. All I want to do is show something beautiful, you know? If it's a war, great. Awesome. Let's make it a war. What? What? You know, let's make it something where people say, what are the top three matches you've ever watched live? I got to watch Lovato and Cyborg in Fight to Win Pro 7, and I'll never forget that.